So Ross House was uh, built in 1898. Many of the buildings around Melbourne predate the 90s and although it's quite a, an old building, it still stands to make some reductions in, in greenhouse gases. So my main role is looking after the facilities within the building, uh, but I'm also in charge of uh, the green retrofit that we're undertaking at the moment. Ross House is a really incredible place. It's the only not-for-profit self-managed building in Australia and it's home to 50 small independent community groups working for environmental sustainability and social justice. So retrofitting uh, is upgrading, I guess, the existing services, plant and equipment, lighting, heating, cooling, those kind of things. The motivation behind it is age of the building and age of the systems, but also we'd uh, like to, I think, do our part for the, the City of Melbourne. Ross House has uh, been quite an old building. It comes with certain challenges. It's heritage listed, and so the front facades of the building uh, can't really be touched in any upgrades. So it affects things such as outside air intakes. So what can be achieved with a retrofit uh, is actually a probably a 30 to 50% reduction in your energy bills. Within Ross House, we've actually done some minor works. We've done delamping, we've put in sensor lighting within the stairwells and car parks, and used uh, timers and things to reduce our energy consumption. And it's actually led to a 10 or 15% reduction in our bills already. We're in the process of getting a whole environmental management system and looking at changes we can make to the actual infrastructure of the building so that we can be more sustainable. I think a good neighbours rating is important to a lot of tenants out there because it reflects on the company depending on where their, their office is located and um, a lot of big corporations now are, are looking to, to house themselves in, within a green building and although Ross House may be quite a small building I think if a lot of small retrofits get done it'll add to the, uh, the greater good and will you know, significantly contribute to a reduction of greenhouse gases for the city of Melbourne.